everybody, we're back from Walking Dead. We're on Shell's chapter now, which is the third character. We've already done what? We've already done Vince, so here we are. Let's see what happens on this. I don't know which one Shell is. I don't know if it's her or Wait. one of these other people. I'm guessing it's her playing it. Two hundred and thirty six. There's a big gap between this one and Wyatt's story. Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Oh, there she is. Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. That much. She show. needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I don't know. I know it's changed me. Well, all of us. But at this age, for her, I don't know. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? Let's see, as long as it doesn't attract us, it sounds like a great idea, yeah, sure. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Let's see, I don't want you missing. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. You just make sure those flashlights are all working. We don't want anyone getting stuck in the dark. Yeah, that would suck. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. I've already gotten on my sister's bad side there. I guess that's my sister. Oh, let's see what we got going on over here. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Yeah, that could have something to do with it. Dead people, I swear. They ruin everything when they show up. Anything else over this way? Just knives. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. I wouldn't call them a hatchet and a knife, but well, what do I know? Hey, back here. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah, then we can spend all our money at nowhere. Alright, through the door. We got coffee. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah, I guess we don't have coffee. This hasn't worked in a long time. Well, we don't have nothing to drink, do we? There's the soup. Smells good. Next time we venture out for supplies, I gotta remember to look for light bulbs, too. Where is this guy? I guess he's all the way in the back. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Hmm. <gasps> oh, you scared me! He's hungry. 
guess he knows it's feeding time. Maybe we just keep pet zombies in the back. It's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one, Ethan? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Why do we keep pet zombies in a chain in the back? Talk to him. Yeah, let's see what type of striking conversation he has. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's over here. Nothing. Not a thing. I guess all we got is you to choose from now. Alright. You munching on over here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back, eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca... Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Yeah, great. So what's going on out here? Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This moth is so scared of me. Dead. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. Send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At I least trying to scout. negotiate to get him back. You don't know that. It does make sense, though. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. 
Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. He made us beat up that guy with the mustache and steal his boat. We did that. I've regretted it ever since. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Hmm. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. Pretty much. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. I'm the deciding vote, huh? You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Hmm. We can't take the risk. We kill him. There's got to be another way. Tell me, what if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Oh, Jesus. There really is no other choice, is there? We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. Let's mop them. If there's even it's a so chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Do you have any fours? Playing go fish? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Duh. Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not sister. dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Hmm. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? Hmm. Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Find over there. Didn't sound too pleasing. I had to check out on the way. Oh, there's our How garden. Come no one's watering these. Hey, Shell, it's Stephanie. What? Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal. They said she was trying to escape. They actually use that word. Escape. Boyd, calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. 
And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. What's this? It's a painting Looks nice, what? Boyd. Thanks. Somebody's trying to get out of here, huh? Hey, I heard about Stephanie. Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? No, there we go. Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. So? Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah, you've gone overboard with it. Yeah. You said that next time it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. You weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Now I need to know that you're with us. A hundred percent. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Now oh, that'll make it easier, sure. <sighs> Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. Hmm. Am I really gonna do it? Let me see. Keys. We just leave ourselves, huh? You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. I don't think you'll hunt. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Hmm. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just 
need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. We'll leave. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down. Get safe. Shell! Hey! Shell! Be safe, I promise. Shell, we What the fuck? God damn it! Just throw a curveball in here. Alright, so that does it for that episode and for that character. So now, next episode, we'll pick it up and we'll do Russell next, since he's next on the list. So, join me back, man, and we'll see you next time.